Hi guys, I'm Master Philly and watching this video. video. Today we will make this simple but looking cool effect in Unreal Engine Niagara. So I will make everything from scratch, the material and the, all the emitters. So you will not skip anything and just you will learn uh, everything and by the end of this video you will make this kind of effect by yourself. If you have any questions, if you like, just comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this. So let's dive in. So let's start this. So first I need a map. So I'll just take this one. And let me make the lighting a little darker, maybe just one. And this ground bigger. And I don't need this player start, so I will delete this. Then I will need a sequencer. You can take it from here. And let's open this. Now you need an animation, so I just found this one in my project. So you can use proper animation if you want. So this one will also work here. So I'll just drag into the sequencer and choose the animation here. But what the animation name? It's a uh, block, block idle. So I'll just here type the block idle. And now we got this animation. Cool. Now we will make our effect around it. Let me rotate it like this. Maybe just 90 degree. Yeah. Okay. You can also put a camera if you want. Like, like so. Cool. You can also add light if you want and I think I will rotate it a little bit because it's too much on this. Yeah, yeah, this one. And I'll just reduce the focal length, make it sharp like this. Cool, now we will make our effect here. And just move a little bit here in the center. Cool. So I'll just save. I'll just save the map. Okay, so first we need a cool material and it's all about material because your particle system is gonna be very simple. So it's all about material. So let's check that. So I'll just make M ring. I'll make the a ring kind of material, uh, some stylization I will add, not simple. So I will use unlit and translucent material. You can make it two sided if you want. If you don't, you, you can use single side. So basically to make a radial, to make a ring, there are lots of ways. You can just take a radial and use a sign wave here. And it will make you a ring. But this is sharp from here and outer part is faded. So you can make the sine wave two. So it will be faded from both sides and then you will have a control with the power how much you want to like make the thickness okay then the second thing i want to add some stylization in it so what i'll do i'll take the noise or you can take noise texture if you want but i'll take this aura texture that i have okay and because this aura texture is like flat it should be like a radial so for that i will need vector to radial not and just connect this radial coordinates to here and see what happens cool this seam if you want to remove that select your texture sampler go here and use the flavor it will go on there are lots of other ways to remove that now you can handle the tiling of this letter but if you multiply these both what you will have will have a ring little bit stylized you can see here let's do some more tiling maybe I'll use two for now so now you will see more here and after that to make it more stylized but I'll do because this is all faded you can multiply it with a higher value then take the floor and then divide and use the same parameter in the multiplier and divide. What it will do, it will 
make these values round so the fadeness will go let me show you how so if you have this like four now you will see how it looks let it compile see so it has now these layers bright dull then modern this value if you will increase it will keep adding layers on it of details and it will be same as it was if you increase too much so it's same so you can decrease it according to what you need so let's say it's four for now now i want different colors with this shading so i had a tutorial recently i created if i'll show you there's a new node otherwise i use different thing but there's a new node this one color ramp three weeks ago i created this video so color ramp is new thing in this material and you can just put this here connect so i'll just saturate it for uh, let's multiply it because it's little faded so i will multiply it like three and then saturate let me preview this first if i will like then i will go that's too much maybe 1.5 just little bit yeah maybe 1.2 then we can use this in the color ramp what color ramp will give us it has a gradient here so it depends on your texture or your uh, color texture or anything you have in, in the input it will give you the colors so first i want this whole white to turn black so that means this white part will be black and then I'll make this black part white. So now it will be same as it was, but now I can control this. So let's say after the black, which is this background, the second layer is this, which is very dark. So I want to make this uh, some color. So you can see this is the same color tone here from here to here. So I will add a swatch here and let's make it blue like that the rest is white then the second layer is this one which is around here i can add one layer here and make this like bright blue so now this is color now the third layer which is white which is taken from here so you can just use it like this or you can make it a little brighter maybe five so it will be brighter like that cool so this is how you do things and now I will connect this here. I'll take the particle color. Uh, if you want to increase or decrease things, multiply. Then I will multiply this with the alpha. Connect this. And there's an error here. So what I'll do after the saturate, I'll shift C for the masking. I'll just take the red channel and put it here. Where is showing me the error? Node multiply. I'll do the same here. Where is giving me the error? Let me save. Let me check. Float 3 and float 4. Oh, this one giving me an error. So maybe I'll have to use a, this thing here and just actually I need RGB because this is float 4. It has also alpha, so it's float 4, and this is just RGB, so it's float 3. So that's why this is float 4. If you will use this, it will take this. So cool. So if I Show you this is with the opacity mask now cool and i have to make some parameter first this we can call it layers by default i will make it four so this is layer i'll make it four then we have tiling so i will use append so because i want tiling x and y separately so i'll connect this here connect this here i'll just call it tx 
and ty anything else i want yeah i want this which is the the thickness of ready the ring so this is ring thickness ring thickness okay so let's save it and see what we can do in the material in the niagara sorry i'll take the niagara and take this empty one and it's false i need particles so i will use this emitter minimal i'll just take the burst one particle okay and let's say the size of this maybe 200 okay i'll use this material browse this and click it here then dynamic parameter default settings layer 4 tiling 1 burn and ring thickness maybe 6 okay so now this is the thickness this is the tile yeah this much i like it this much and this is the details if you increase it it will be faded and which also i like so i will use little more sharper in this one in this layer cool you can add uh, rate rotation basically here yeah, if you want play let's make this local space let me check the size so i will drag it here into the sequencer move it here and move back on the x is little more big instead of 200 150 i think 100 cool so maybe 120 so it should also fade in fade out or you can dissolve it because with this node thickness it is 2.7 if you decrease it it's almost decreasing like 40 so you can also animate this with the fade in fade out so let's say i make curve i make use this one 2.5 and both sides 40 so it will come and go but i want this curve so it will remain two for a while and life uh, let me have delete this and take the spawn rate maybe two or five or what you can do don't do this take the burst take one particle spawn once and turn this off so life will remain forever and i just want this to be 2.5 so it will be remain same always cool then i'll duplicate this layer in the second layer what i'll do i'll increase the thickness and increase the this thing and also i'll change the tiling maybe two and four this one and i'll decrease the opacity basically i'll go here so we will have both i can make it little more bigger if you want and also change this this so it will have like both thing together you can also make it more blue if you want from here and decrease the alpha even more maybe 0 0.05 so now there's a fading thing and there's a sharp thing so basically both things are there cool you can add more that rotating fast or something like that so you can just duplicate it one more time like you can make this thin then you can increase the tiling like this then make it faster more faster and you can make it brighter just showing you it depends how you want it it's too much right i'll just make it 
like this so you will have something going on here so it depends if you want it you can use it if you don't don't use it maybe 100 i'll use 80 i think 90 so it should be yeah 100 looks cool right so it's very simple i'm not making it very complex or something it looks simple if you want to make the background a little darker you can also do that so let's say this one the first one you can just increase the alpha if i make this direct and increase the alpha like this it will be like very opaque right so you can also do one thing make it one i'll duplicate the second one just testing something and let's make it black and increase the alpha like this because it is it is softer so it will make that black cool i think this is too much this much is enough you can add more fluidic effect in this if you want so for that i'll go to the material like distort this so what i'll do i'll take a noise texture any noise you can take like i'll take this one and then first i will add a panner in this one maybe point 0.1 so it will pan not this direction maybe point 0.1 and let's add also point 0.1 here okay and then i will use the same setting for noise and then multiply this noise and add it back here for the uvs of this and this multiplier is basically how much i want distortion so i will just duplicate this and make this one because I want another and I'll call it distort and just connect it here in the multiplier let's save it so don't see that uh, so what I'll do first distortion I will make zero and see it's penny okay and then we can make like point 0.1 point two now it's more fluidy cool and now you have the second layer you can make it more fluidy maybe one looks cool and then we have this black layer it looks fine so all together this look fine just the rotation is missing i will make it faster maybe 50 20 and then yeah now it's it has more animation and it looks fine cool you can add a light if you want a point light make it blue yeah and decrease the size and also intensity just little bit so it will connect with your effect so I hope that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.